The verdant growth on apple trees, bearing their fruit in the July breeze. With grace and strength they stand alone, each one an identity, not a clone. If you look at the MacIver Cider label, you'll see a little red fox. And that little red fox is the tip of the hat to my uncle Petter. And Petter was a guy who was connected to the land. He was a poet. He was a shanachi, a storyteller, an Irish storyteller. He brewed, he distilled, uh, he made cider, of course. It was really important for me to have that character in our cider. But again, when I sit here under the oak, I, I think of him always. We farm 110 acres of, of orchard here in Ardres, and if you go into a National Trust cafe anywhere across the country, you'll find some of our products there. At the moment, I'm sitting under a 440-year-old uh, oak tree, and this place is particularly important to me because it connects me back to my grandmother in particular, uh, Annie McIver. And when I sit here, I think of her and her journey and the work that she put in to raising a family of nine. Uh, I'm fifth generation uh, apple grower, so we have apple growing in our veins, so to speak. When you drink a MacIver cider or you eat a Bramley apple pie made from our apples, you're really getting a taste and a flavour of Northern Ireland. It's probably, I would say, 30 years since I've, since I've seen these, these photographs. And it's funny, the apple blossom photograph is a real tradition in our family. And every year, all members of the family are, 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 are paraded out in front of, uh, of some apple blossom. Family, it's all about family. It's all about uh, working together, you know, working with the land.